Okay guys, so today we're going to be learning how to make a helicopter in advanced mode in Snorlax. Let's go. Okay, so uh, it's going to be pretty basic this helicopter, but uh, it'll work. So, start with, I'm just going to make a small kind of base. Um, say that's our base there. And we're going to need a couple things. So. First, I'm just going to make an engine for this uh, for this thing. So um, obviously, you don't have to do it the same way that I do. I'm just going to build a quick engine. Is yeah. So make air. It'll take a little while. Um, obviously, guys, you don't have to do this the same way that I do. But I just find that. This is a good way to make engines and to, yeah. So this is quite a compact engine, this one. Um, it's got a fuel tank, it's got a radiator. It's got everything we need. Got our radiator, got our exhaust port and we got our air. Okay, so there's our engine. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, going to get a pilot seat. So I'm just going to put a compact pilot seat. And I'm going to put it there. Um, we're also going to need some controls for our engine. So I'm going to have a push button. Put a push button there, and I'll put a throttle lever there. I'll get a battery. Okay, um, I'm going to connect our electrics up, just for now, and, okay, so there's our engine, there's our engine, and now, next thing you want to do is, I'm actually going to make some landing gear first, so I'm just going to do something really, really basic, um, obviously you guys would put a lot more effort into this. But let's just say that that's our landing gear. I'll actually, and oop, there's our landing gear. Let's just say that's our landing gear. Now, next thing we need to do is to get our power. So, our power. Um, what we need to do with this is we need to split it off into two directions. Uh, the first one being towards the back. The second one being towards the front. So the one at the back, we'll do that first. So I'm just going to drag that out there to about here. And I'm going to get a rotor, a tail rotor. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that down. You see there is a, a black side to it. That's the power. And there is the positive and negative arrows. We want the positive facing to the right. Uh, next, make sure your blade pitch is neutral, don't change it to positive, change, keep it at neutral, and I'm going to put this at, I'm going to keep it at four blades. Um, now, next thing to do is we're going to get our helicopter rotor, so let's just get a large rotor, because that's actually the smallest one. Um, ooh, we're going to just get rid of that. <laughs> so I'll put that there. Um, I'll extend this out a little bit. Get our tail rotor. There we go. So there's our tail rotor on. Now you'll notice that we've got our power at the front. We've got a big arrow on top of this thing. Now this needs to be facing forwards. And when it comes to other arrows, we need to have this arrow here, so the positive arrows going forward and right, and the negative ones going to the back and to the left. Next, uh, make sure this is on neutral, not on positive, because if you have it on positive, it'll just shoot up. The more engine power you give it, then the more it'll shoot up. Um, so we're just going to pipe this around. 
and there we go. Okay, now we need something called a gyro. Now, the gyro, and I'm gonna what what this does. I'll just connect it, connect the electricity first. But what this does is it creates a auto hover circuit, which pretty much allows you to. Whenever you're not controlling the helicopter, it will automatically adjust the helicopter to have, you know, so it's not pitching forward or pitching back, or it's not rolling to the side or spinning around or going up or down. It'll just sit in its spot um, as best as the gyro can manage. So I'm just going to set that to one. And now when it comes to controlling a helicopter, you can control it any way you want. But the best way to do it, and the way that most people do it, is get your W and S, attach that to your pitch, get your A and D, attach that to your roll, the left, right, that can be your yaw, and your up, down, and go to your up, down. Make sure you have your auto hover, so your pitch, that will go to your large rotor, collective, will come from your up, down, we have our yaw, which is going to go to the end tail rotor, and our roll, which is going to go to the roll. Um, you'll see, obviously, we've got our pitch, our collective, our roll, and our yaw. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, you can go into select mode, and you can change the sensitivity on all of them. This is for the collective. This is for the roll pitch in your. I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, we're going to test this helicopter and see if it actually works. I'm glad our vehicle damage off, otherwise, we would have already failed. So let's boot this engine. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite a powerful thing. Without the auto hover on, it just spins around. As soon as I turn the auto hover on, it's hard to notice, but start to slow down but well yeah um oh gosh uh yeah okay so i think the thing to do is we should probably lower the rps of our engine so i'm gonna set this down to just like nine rps and we'll just test that uh start our engine Okay, so that's not powerful enough. Um, and the thing about a helicopter is that it does take a lot of um, tuning to get the RPS right and stuff like that. So, start the engine a little bit. Turn our auto hover on. And there we go. So, using my, I'll use my up down arrows. We can see we move up and we move down. I use my left and right arrows. See if I use my left one. Oh, wait, so we're going the wrong way. Oh my. Um. Whoa, man. <laughs> now, uh, I think I may have actually got that wrong. Sorry, guys. Um, so what we're going to do? Put it around to the other side. I'm going to put on two blades, give it some yaw from our controller. I'm just going to lower the yaw to about, let's say, 30%. Obviously, it takes a lot of tuning, um, but if you build this exact one here, this will work. So, i use my right arrow. See that we go to the right. If I use my left arrow, Go to left, using my up down to go up and down. If I hit W, we will pitch forward. If I press S, we'll pitch back. If we use uh, press the D key, we'll go to the right. If I press A, we will go to the left. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's that's actually our helicopter completely done. So if we want, we can turn this thing around. So let's turn it around.
And there we go, so we, we've got a fully functioning helicopter. We can land it wherever we want. So I'm just going to uh, land it smoothly. Kill the engine. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, that is, that is basics on how to make a helicopter in Solax. Um, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next one.